So here we go with the next one. Working our way up the list uh, from the finishing order of Abu Dhabi 2021. Here goes with the driver cam audio uh, between the driver and his race engineer from the moment Nicholas Latifi crashes. So we're now moving on to Daniel Ricciardo. At the point in time Nicholas Latifi crashes, Daniel Ricciardo was in 11th position in that race. Now, had he have maintained track position and not pitted, when Perez retired, that would have promoted Ricciardo up to 10th, one world championship point. But because he was outside the top 10, he essentially had nothing to lose at that stage. He wasn't to assume that Perez was going to retire, was he? So therefore, essentially, it was a gamble to pit him onto soft tyres in the event that should they go racing again, he would then be in the more advantageous position. But should he not go racing again? Well, you're outside the top 10 anyway. Makes no difference. OK, so it was a it was a, a nothing to lose gamble regarding that. Or so you thought, because actually at the moment reti uh, Perez retired, something was lost, a World Championship point was lost. Now here is the, the ending to this. This is the bit that many people will remember. So just have a listen to this. This is when he's pulled into the pits. Uh, the McLaren car needs to be scrutineered by the FIA. Uh, so this is him pulled up at the FIA station. Um... I'm glad I'm not a part of that. Whatever just happened, it seemed uh, pretty fucked up. All right. Uh, thanks, guys, for the uh, for the season. We'll uh, we'll keep at it. Yeah. Cheers, Daniel. We're going to get him. We're going to get him next year. So we're now going to rewind that back. OK, we're going to rewind Daniel Ricciardo's audio back to this moment in time. You can do this on F1 TV, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Go to the timestamp 128.20 and I'm going to locate that point on Daniel Ricciardo's audio. Match them up and we'll play this through and you'll be able to see Daniel Ricciardo's position on track of you uh, when I get this sorted. OK, I've matched the times up. This is the view from Daniel Ricciardo's cockpit. He's going down the straight in between turn five and turn six. OK, he's going down that long straight. So, and again, time stamp on this one. Same as the other one, 128.20. It won't perfectly match up, but it'll be the best I can do. Gives you an impression of where Daniel Ricciardo is on track as this is all taking place. Um, 128.20. So, what are we seeing here? Mick Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi coming around turn 13, the white dot and underneath that is the blue dot. You will see the blue dot become stationary just around turn 14. That's the moment Latifi crashes and this is what the audio is going to be then. So here we go. Safety car, safety car. Safety car driving delta positive and recharge on is good. Daniel, the accident is on the exit of 14. Keep to the left in 14. Daniel, medium or soft? There is five laps to go. Uh, let's go soft. Daniel, we're box, we're box. Yep, box. Daniel Pillain. Launch map on, launch map. Launch map off, launch map off. Racing to safety car line two.
Okay, Daniel, so the car ahead of you is Verstappen. Ahead of him is Vettel, who stayed out, and then Leclerc. To the left in turn 14, instruction. And we have margin to warm front brakes. Red button available to avoid the split in front brake temperatures. Uh, the cooler brake is front right. Yep, yeah, red button's activated. Uh, just confirm that's working. Yeah, that's working. And the split's gone, well done. Okay, and again, keep left in turn 14. They're moving the car now. Keep left in turn 14. Understood. Okay, Daniel, so there's three laps to go. This is P13. Ahead of you is Vettel, Leclerc, and then Ocon. They're all out on uh, old tyres. Vettel, 31 hard. Leclerc, 19 medium. Ocon, 39 hard. Lapped cars may now, oh, lapped cars will not be allowed to overtake. Lapped cars will not be allowed to overtake. So Daniel, your challenge will be to follow Verstappen through when he gets blue flags for everybody. Okay, understood. Do you think it'll restart this lap? Uh, it's still showing double yellows, but it may do.
Daniel behind you is Stroll and then Saints. So if we can make good progress, we may be able to avoid getting blue flags from Saints. Safety car has stayed out. Uh, there's two laps, including this one. Safety car ending, red button off. Daniel, they've allowed the lap cars ahead of us to over the take the safety car, but not us. There'll be one lap racing. Okay, so I stay where I am. Yeah, so stay where you are. This is a normal safety car restart. Recharge off. Okay, buddy, that's the checkered flag. Let's have a recharge on, please. Recharge on. OK, 
Okay, Daniel, so we finished P12 in the end. Obviously not enough laps, and with the other cars being allowed to go after the safety car, then that pit stop didn't help. Um, finishing all the... Okay, yeah, I got no idea what, what they uh, what they did with letting cars through. Obviously, I wasn't wasn't really in that, anyways. But it seems strange. Yeah, it was a bit unusual. So Perez retired, Daniel. So finishing order for Stappen, Hamilton, Sainz, Sonoda, Gasly, Bottas, Norris, Alonso, Ocon, Leclerc. Unfortunately, the uh, that pit stop at the end, which I think would have been a good idea, didn't work because they only let through some of the cars. Uh, anyway, we're boxed now. When you get to the FIA, then we need to switch the car fully off. Yep, yeah, understood. Cheers, guys. Um, I'm glad I'm not a part of that. Whatever just happened, it seemed uh, pretty fucked up. All right. Uh, thanks, guys, for the uh, for the season. We'll uh, we'll keep at it. Yeah. Cheers, Daniel. We're going to get him. We're going to get him next year. Okay, so 1.43.20, I'm going to pause it there, that I think is the end of the audio. You see, Daniel, you might be glad that you're not a part of that, but you are a part of that. You were involved in that race. So, you've kept quiet afterwards as well, in the same way that everybody else has kept quiet, because it's all gone silent. We've been fed a narrative. We've been fed a pack of lies as the excuse. So what I'm going to do in the next video is, as like I've done in the other two out so far, is go through that commentary and break down where things are blatantly wrong. So that will do on this video. Look out for the breakdown of Daniel Ricciardo's commentary. And then on from that one, it will be Sebastian Vettel. And that's another interesting one too. So... Keep looking out for these uploads. This is the driver, cam, audio, and they all tell a story. Thank you for your time.